Okay, so the first card I have here is the Four of Swords in the reverse position. So the Four of Swords reverse indicates that, um, you know, like in the upright position, it does indicate spiritual ascension. And um, it's a period of introspection, reflection, and also healing, okay? So um, in the reverse position, it indicates to me that this is something that... Um, a lot of you might have like taken a step back, might have taken some time off from a troublesome situation, and now you're able to like have enough insight to move forward with it. Okay, so it's actually a very very good energy. It's uh, it's clearing, it's cleansing as well, and um, what's crossing this is the two of wands. So the two of wands is basically decision time as well. Okay, so this is um. Having all the knowledge, having the the tools at your disposal as well to embark on a new phase. Okay, so um, I do feel at this point it is still the planting, uh, the planning stages that you are uh, dealing with. So Mercury in retrograde, you know, try to do it after the eleventh. Okay, so if you can wait until like third full week of this month, which is going to be the fourteenth, that would be the ideal time for it. What's in the past position is the Five of Wands. This is a card of conflict in the reverse position. It indicates to me rather than, you know, um, I, I know of that um, fire signs in general, you know, you, you stand up for what you believe in and you don't really mind conflict. But I do feel in the past, this is something that you've kind of avoided because you, you've had multiple run-in with that person and you don't really want to cause a scene. So you're taking a different, you have taken a different approach in the past with this situation and you're like withdrawing from it, okay? As for what's coming in for you is the King of Swords. Okay, this is somebody that um, in the reverse position is not somebody that is operating at his or her best. This is an air sign energy and air signs are quite argumentative, okay? But in this reverse position, this air sign is not trying to get at the truth. They are like... Um, they can say hurtful words, they can twist the truth, and they can um, manipulate the situation to their favor, okay? This is not a very strong um, person with a lot of integrity, okay? So they, they kind of rationalize wrongdoings just to um, get things to work out in their favor. So this is an energy that you are possibly, um, that you have tried to avoid in the past by not having, not engaging with them in you know, a, a verbal dispute because they are actually very intelligent. You've shied away from that in the past. You're kind of like taking the high road. You've left them behind. They're cycling back through for this week. And what I am sensing here is uh, what's crowning you is the hermit. You're basically going about this on in the right way, okay? You're being very high-minded. You're looking at the whole picture and you're realizing that conflict and getting engaged in, you know, any type of like verbal conflict with this person is not going to work out in your favor because the other person, if anything, they bring drama. They bring like, um, they bring a lot of um, baggage, you know, it's sort of like um, they're not worth engaging in a fight with, you know, because they're not out to, they're not out to like um, expose the truth. They're just arguing on technicalities just to make sure that they're right, you know, just to prove that they're right more than anything. So this is a, even though it's a king energy, it's somebody who's very, very um, intellectually adept, okay? They, they argue very well, but they're not arguing for the right reasons, okay? As for what's um, in the picture that you're not aware of, okay? So you're handling this situation actually very well because the relationship itself, the work partnership, if this is somebody that you're dealing with on that level, it has already run its course. So you don't really need to go back and, you know, have a run in or have any type of an encounter with this person. You actually don't even need to explain yourself with this person because they actually don't deserve it. So this situation has already run its course. There were multiple tries. It didn't work. So it's not going to work in the future. Okay. This is uh, somebody that is not very, they're not cooperative. They, they want to see things from their point of view, and that's it, okay? Like, um, it's like my way or the highway type of energy. Even though they are very capable, they're not operating at their best. So in the past, they might have, you know, they're not bad people, but I do feel that um, it could also be like a parent that you're dealing with to a lot of you. This is an older energy that is somebody that is older than yourself, but they're not really, uh, they're mired in such a, a weird state 
where they have to be right all the time, okay? So they're not operating at their best. So the Six of Swords here is the advice, you know, move forward because there is nothing left to be salvaged from that situation. That uh, relationship, that tie is already done. You have learned all you need to learn from that situation and it is important for both parties to move on. And the Mercury retrograde energy brings in people from our past, situations from our past, to test us, you know, to test our resolve. So just, you know, move forward with your life. And um, as for the external environment here, this is the justice card. And I do feel, for those of you who are dealing with, you know, that other energy that is uh, argumentative, the scales are going to be balanced, okay? So you walking away quietly is actually going to create a... Um, a, a better statement like a more powerful impact on their lives because in the past you chose to engage in disputes and then all of a sudden you cut them off you just stopped altogether so now you're leaving them hanging and they're going to like um, go through a process in which they in which they reassess what they've been doing so far and to find out a, a healthier way to approach their future relationships and um, as for your hopes and asp and, and fears here we have the devil card in the reverse position, which is a very good placement for it, okay? So this is a brand new cycle that you're going through, and you're breaking away old habits from old people. Instead of engaging in that conf conflict and confrontation, you're taking the high road, and you're just not going to put yourself in that situation anymore, okay? Because right now, you're starting to see the big picture. You're starting to see your role in every situation, and you're not going to put yourself in that um, unhealthy relationship possibly that toxic uh, communication um, type of energy with the other person who is not able to see outside of themselves okay the seven of wands here they are going to try to draw you back in this is the outcome they are going to to try to use every tactic in the book to get you to re-engage in their rubbish is what I'm sensing here okay this is like the angry villagers, okay, being very upset, but you're standing your ground and you're doing it quite happily because you believe in the things that you believe in and, you know, you hold true to your integrity and your values. So keep that up, okay? It's a lonely battle, but I do feel that you have the strength and the stamina. And more than anything, um, as a fire sign, you do have that deep-rooted sense of integrity that um, despite what everybody else is doing, you're not going to be like them. You're going to do what you feel is right, okay? So that's um, that's a very good thing that you're doing. So let's see. I have the two of coins here, okay? So don't let other people's words rattle you, okay? If you have something that you strongly believe in, stand by your conviction, conviction and stand firm in your resolve. So don't compromise yourself for other people, okay? Yeah, I do feel that you are going to be tempted here. Um, if there are situations in which you're kind of like debating between uh, what's right and the financial payout from a situation. So, so for example, someone might tempt you by saying, okay, why don't you do this one thing that's not great, but you can get like a lot of money from it, you know, um, really reassess what it is because if it's like illegal activities in general, you might get caught during Mercury in retrograde. So that's something to be careful of for those of you who are contemplating that. Obviously, it's not going to apply for everyone. But, you know, don't compromise your values, okay? Don't compromise the things that you believe in. And just know that financial, quick financial gains are going to disappear just as quickly as they come in. So hold on tight to your resources and um, be careful about um, how you make your money, okay? So um, it's actually a good time for you right now to actually um, don't engage people in useless verbal battles because um, you're not going to like change anything. And additionally, when it comes to the financial sector, if there are promises, tell if there are people telling you, you know, take this one really lucrative job, but you're going to have to compromise your values as a result, don't do it, okay? That's not going to carry you... Uh, a long way and additionally the money that is coming in is just not worth it for you at the end of the day okay